Hi, I'm Eric Gadby, and I have been an enthusiast for all things nautical and aerospace since the age of 10. I served for 22 years in the U.S. Submarine Force and have been supporting it for the last 15 years since retiring. Join me as I pursue my passion for first-person context for ships, aircraft, and historic sites that have shaped our world, as well as some that are off the beaten path. Welcome to Heritage Hill Air Park, located on McCord Field, Joint Base Lewis-McCord, just south of Tacoma, Washington, home of F-102A, serial number 56-1515. Okay, we're going to start the walk around here of uh, F-102 Delta Dagger. It's a single seat air superiority, you know, interceptor. Had a very large uh, radome for radar in the front. The... Uh, optical sight that you see there provided inputs for the, the, the pilot to, you know, identify, track, and then to engage targets. And differences with the F-106, this has a fixed geometry uh, in, inlet that ended up being a limiting point on it. And feed down here. It also had a the applied the area rule on that allowed for a coke bottle or wasp waste uh, uh, fuselage to in, improve transonic speed and then ultimately uh, top end you know speed. Another difference with the F-106. Instead of having two wheels on the nose gear, a single wheel on the nose gear. Now, one of the bigger differences in the uh, <clears throat> weapons bay is that on here, there's a port or left hand one that uh, pops out and that has the accommodations for two, two missiles. There's also center here that opens with both doors that you see here, one, one left half, one right half, that allowed for additional, and then walking underneath. Over here to the starboard side, this is the third one that would uh, pop out. So you'd have the ability to have three separate uh, weapons uh, bays instead of just a single large one on the uh, F-106. And one of the shortcomings for the uh, F-102 was the uh, wing design that you see. It has a fairly thick wing compared to the uh, F-106. To uh, mitigate that, they put up these uh, fences that help to contain the airflow and to segregate it into the sec different sections of the wing. And that improved low speed performance as well as at uh, high speeds, it kept the lift as uh, it forms from spilling down the, the airfoil. So these actually made a big difference in it. The uh, F-106, did uh, they did uh, design work on the wing and were able to get away with not having the, the large fences on it. And once again, I believe this is a 200 and... 30 or 240 gallon uh, fuel tank. And we'll look out here, down the airfoil. We'll turn around and look back and give you a nice look to where you can see how deep the, the camber is on it. And just give you over the look down here at the, the flapperons. And once again, to be able to have a th thinner wing and be able to operate, have to have a little fairing there to allow for the hydraulic mechanisms for it. And we'll come in and take a look at the main gear. Braking, master main cylinder cross member that locks and then up into the, the wheel well 
very similar to the uh, F-106, but you can notice there's uh, the way the engine mount is, is done differently, or it, uh, I guess you'd say it has uh, more curve, more bend on the 106. It's more of a straighter on here. And continuing on the un underside of the port wing. And you can see the tail difference, the triangular shape on this one compared to the uh, extended uh, version on the, the F-106. And once again, speed brake, and behind it would be a, a, a chute, drogue chute. And our good friends, wasps, here. And another look here. You can see the arresting hook. It's a different style than what we saw earlier on the F-106. And the engine was uh, a twin spool after burning turbojet nine stage, uh, 16 total stages on the uh, compressor, uh, nine on the low pressure, seven on the high pressure, and then a single stage on the high pressure turbine that drove the high pressure compressor, and then two stage on the low pressure com turbine that drove the low pressure compressor. And Ram Air Turbine. It's a hydraulic turbine that provides for whenever you have total loss of uh, electrical or hydraulic power, this uh, pops out and can provide minimum essential hydraulic power to the flight control systems and to help you get the rest of the aircraft back up and running. So obviously it's as a variable pitch on it, but this would spin and provide, you know, a minimum amount of uh, power to operate the aircraft in an emergency. Yeah, pop out and let you look down the, the wing here so you can see the, the camber on it. And once again, the, the fences. And it's just a nice clean look. There we go. That's the F-102.
Thanks for watching and for sticking around to the end. I truly appreciate all of your views, likes, comments, and especially for those who are returning subscribers to the channel. I especially like hearing from those who have first-hand experience with these aircraft, so keep the comments coming. I'd like to extend a special thanks to Sean Zawada and all of the staff at the McCord Air Museum for their work in restoring and keeping these amazing pieces of history available for future generations to enjoy.